Hello friends and family of YouTube. And today I have a Tracer Breeze 19 MRB. It's got a pretty good size slide on it. Pretty nice unit. Let me show it to you. And we'll start back here on the back side. Of course, you can see that it's got a spare tire on it and uh, also has the outdoor shower out here with the uh, black tank flush and the city water connection and also your uh, 30 amp electrical service. As you can see, it also has uh, corner jacks on here to help keep it stable. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, this has a real good size slide on it and it's a dual axle. Also has uh, stabilizer jacks along the front as well. And this has two propane tanks and enough room to put two batteries on here. And it does come with a uh, hand style crank jack and you could put an electric one on there, but let me show you the other side. And look at that pass through storage, man. There is plenty of room to put plenty of junk in there. Got an area where you can plug in your TV. And I tell you what, let's go up inside this three-step entry of this 19 MRB and see what's going on inside. Hey, by the way, today I'm over at Campers Inn. That is in uh, Madison, Alabama, which is right near uh, Huntsville. And there is the door that I just came into and we are facing towards the front. And check this out. This comes with a Murphy style bed couch set up here. And I tell you what, this was a very comfortable couch. So I was very surprised and excited to see that. It's a little dark over there, so it may be hard for you to see that, but it does have 110 outlet and USB outlet. And on this other side, it just has the 110. And you've got storage on both sides and they are identical. So let me open up this one and show you what it has. It does have a bar where you can hang some shirts and plenty of storage room down below. And that's where you unhook the Murphy style and just let this come down. And that will just barely cover in front of the doorway. So you still will be able to come through the door if this couch bed system is in the downward position. And I tell you what, I do like this dinette. I sat at the dinette. The only thing I was not crazy about was that little corner right there. I snagged up my leg on that corner getting in. But other than that, I did like the cushion of the uh, dinette. It did seat well. I like how big that window is. Gives you plenty of view, especially if you're somewhere really nice and your view is not another camper outside the window. And they've got some lighting right over the uh, dinette as well. And uh, you've got a good location to see the TV. Now, I am facing towards the rear of the camper and I'll give you a layout of the land here in just a little bit. And that will show you the camper from one end to the other. But if you were sitting at the couch or the bed or the dinette, you've got a good view of this TV entertainment center and also you've got some storage above and that only sits back about six inches deep and uh, again the lighting is not turned on but you've got uh, got your speakers your lighting and your uh, air conditioning duct all into the ceiling here and while I've got it aiming up this way let me show you that it does have a vent into the kitchen area and that'll help get you some of your uh, smells of your food out if you're cooking in here and want to open that up and you've got you a over under refrigerator freezer pretty good size uh, refrigerator freezer combo made by Dometic and also here still in the kitchen they did give you the uh, light and fan system that is right over your uh, three burner cooktop with your oven generally on most campers whenever they give you that vent in the ceiling a lot of times they will leave out giving you this vent so I was glad to see that they did give you both there's not a lot of cabinetry in this particular unit but uh, there is a little bit more here and there's some down below let me show you this faucet set up oh and while I'm here they did give you a window to give you some natural lighting as you're cooking and prepping your food in this area and there's a little more storage down below 
gave you an outlet here to plug in maybe a blender or whatever you might need to and got uh, two drawers on there also and what I would have liked to have seen here is one of those little boards that would flip out to give you just a little bit more cooktop area or prep area but uh, anyway let me take you into the bathroom show you what's going on in there and I am glad to say there was nothing going on in here all right so it did they did give you a um, plastic standard plastic toilet with this particular model and there's quite a bit of room over on this side you could put a garbage can right there there's also some storage behind the toilet and let me show you the storage that they gave you inside of here and there is not a bar like to hang clothing but you could definitely install one this is about a three cubic foot storage area I know it's a little bit dark and we're just about done with this dark area here so uh, right over the sink, they did give you a medicine cabinet. It's got a built-in mirror on it and a decent enough size uh, little sink. And that does not open up. So that's probably where some of your, uh, your uh, water pump and some of the other things that you might need to access. Maybe even the water heater might be in there. I believe it is. So uh, anyway, here's your uh, stand-up shower. And it does have an area where you can sit down. I do like that. I imagine the ladies, when y'all are wanting to shave your legs, man, yeah, that's gonna definitely come in handy. But y'all probably don't shave your legs when you're out camping, do you? All right, I know I wouldn't. And um, I got you a overhead vent right here over the shower as well. And they've got uh, the, the uh, air conditioned duct right here by the shower. And I tell you what, if you were coming out of that shower and you were soaking wet, that would probably be a little cold on you. I don't know that I particularly like having that right over the shower or right next to it. And they got you some lighting right here as well, going right over this mirror. So that should help you as you're trying to shave your face in the morning or as the ladies uh, are trying to put on their war paint. So anyway, I'm uh, back here in the very back of the camper and I'm facing towards the front. And uh, there you go. You can see uh, that they do have the bed set up in the front. And this particular layout, you see it in a lot of different companies, especially uh, Flagstaff. The 21 FBRS is one of the competitors to this. And that one's probably in the top five or ten of all time biggest sellers. So that's what this one is kind of after, is trying to get into that market. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm liking what they've done here. And I know a lot of you are wondering, is this still fun functional if, the, uh, if this slide is on, on the inward position? It would be the only thing that you would need to do, if I am seeing this correctly, and I believe I am, is that this door for the bathroom would have to be left open. Now, with that being said, you would then not be able to get to your refrigerator freezer combo. Now, if you were to change this door hinge, put the hinges on this side of the door to where the door opened from that side, you would be able to get into your bathroom. You would be able to get into the refrigerator freezer combo, even if that slide was slid across. But the way it currently is, you would not be able to do that. And if you have any questions, I'm sure you can find your answers on Google. Or if not, you can call Campers Inn over in Madison, Alabama. Their number also can be found on the internet as well. And I don't believe I mentioned it, but the air conditioning duct is into the ceiling and the heating duct is at the bottom edges of the cabinetry. So it will be blowing across the floor. There's no floor vents in this particular model. Folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Y'all leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this particular unit. Hope to see y'all real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.